Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Genshin Impact. We all have a brand new event and we have the almighty, absolutely lovely Raiden Shogun. I do not know what people are on when they say that she doesn't look good. Y'all are insane <laughs> and need help. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be breaking down the brand new event that actually came around sooner than I was suspecting it to. Um, but basically, um, yes, some things happened. Let me also give you a, a quick TLDR. First of all, progress on the Almighty Shogun, because I'm probably going to upload this pretty soon here. Got her to level 80. Pretty happy with it. Probably going to bring her to 90, because I'm really enjoying her kit. And yeah, um, I accept that she may not be the strongest character ever, but unlike Eula, I'm having a fucking blast. Also, she works really well with Eula, like people are suspecting, which I'll make videos of later down the line. I got her talents up to six, or at least the ones that matter, um, and I gave her a pretty good amount of everything in terms of crit rate, crit damage. Crit damage could use a little bit more, but still. Um, and then energy recharge, same, same thing. Lot. Lot of a lot. Good stuff for me. Mwah. Oh, also, uh, the shop. Yeah, the shop. Okay, so by the way, my Shincho is level six. Finally, so there was Shinsho in Nin Wong, but your boy, boom, bought Shinsho instantly, because it had a lot of glitter, and I was like, I ain't, no hesitation, bop, move forward. Anyway, so if we go and look at our Shinsho, our Shinsho finally has six, um, six constellations, which is massive, because it just makes it more efficient to just deal higher degrees of damage, which he didn't need any help in. Golly. Anyways, the other thing um, that's really unfortunate but also worked out for me is um, with the Raiden Shogun, I was like, holy shit, this, she feels fantastic in terms of like just mass AoE goofy fun. I want to level up Bido because Bido is basically maxed out and if I got one more Bido, uh, which I'm kind of regretting not buying her, um, I would have been able to get this, which would have weakened enemies to Electro, allowing the Raiden Shogun to do more damage, except for whatever reason, for like no reason, just a really annoying nerf. They nerfed Bido in, in Chincho. Or sorry, they nerfed Bido with uh, uh, Raiden Shogun, but not Shinsho, despite they have the same, like, wording in their thing. When normal attack and charge attack hits an enemy, it discharges lightning. Um, also, I think it increases interruption or something like that. But regardless, if we go to Shinsho, who I do have leveled up, um, his is the same thing. Uh, when your active character's normal attack, yeah, uh, hits, it will deal damage on all of these things, so it's just... Uh, weird. Um, your active character's normal attack will trigger uh, conducive as just story. Yeah, and also it doesn't make any sense. Like, doing double of an element is actually worse. So I don't know why they wouldn't nerf, they would nerf Bido. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Also, especially considering Bido ha has one of the shittier, <laughs> one of like, again, if you look at Bido in comparison to Shincho, her fifth constellation is super niche. It only weakens enemies by 15%. That's super low. And fucking Shinchos basically gives him like another two and a half swords and energy recharge, allowing you to use that always. It just doesn't make sense. And it's like the one character where she is you like utility is synergistic within her kit. And I don't think it would be bad to double up on Electro, because what happens when you in in interact with another Electro character? With Shincho and Baido, or with Shincho and the Raiden Shogun, I can just profit wherever, whenever, however. Uh, so it just, it seems like a weird nerf. <laughs> like, if anything, I think Bido could use help with her, her being utility-based. I um, mean, this being one of the few characters that does work with Bido. So I'm kind of like, why did you make her nerfed when Shincho is just, if not way more compatible? I don't get it. <laughs> you're insane, Mahoyo. You know, you're wild. Uh, I do hope they, I do hope they fix it, because it does seem like something that is so inconvenient that they could fix it and it wouldn't rub anyone the wrong way. Um... In fact, I think it would be a pretty cool, like, step in the right direction for Mahoyo say, being like, hey, we're okay with buffing characters or readjusting characters. We're not just going to, if a character comes out, we're not just going to leave them the way they are and forget about them, which sometimes is how it feels. Uh, at least, yeah, it's just up with some characters. I digress. Uh, yeah, got Shinsho up to level 6. Loving that. Have not had enough time to level up anybody else because the Raiden Shogun still needs a lot of a lot of attention. But... That aside, sorry, um, we have this brand new event which we're going to talk about. I did not think this would be coming out so fast, um, although now that I know some things about what maybe possibly will be coming out in 2.2, um, I feel a little less surprised by some things, and I feel like, okay, that's maybe when the, the mic is going to drop. But, alas, we have this event quest, which is going to be a battle arena, which you guys might be like, but Grin, that's exactly what you wanted, right? Well, <laughs> I mean, well... Well, 
<laughs> um, little bit, kind, not really. No, no, honestly, no. Not this version, at least, uh, which is very much more of a glorified test run for all of the other characters, and like a relay race rather than just like of a, a pit of hell to just fight and throw down and, and do damage and and uh, yeah, <laughs> all that. Guys, I'm just not into it today. We're just gonna skip all, all this. Goodbye. Farewell. Take me to the pits, to the place that shall not be mentioned. Takes you to a small island inside of Inazuma. Or the outside of Inazuma, sorry. Hell yes. Uh, where are we, says us. <laughs> uh, oh, that's pretty exciting. The Kiki Dojo. Uh, by stepping through this rather suspicious door. Oh, pretty exciting. So yes, it's like, a, it's like an underground fight club, some would say. Those people are snitches. <laughs> okay. Feel free to bring your friends and companions. After all, means the more, the merrier. Ooh, okay. You're not taking part? Question mark. Of course I will. As a spectator, cheering you on. In truth, my goal here is to write the most epic fighting novel ever. I'll do my best. Great. You better give me some residuals on that fucking novel, all right? Although I don't think being a writer is particularly a wealth, like a wealth creation thing. Yes, characters must be divided into not one, not two, but six teams. There's only two per team, though. If one team stays on the field for too long, their combat ability will decrease drastically. Switching teams will clear most of the effects that provide the previous team left behind. Moreover, um, if all of the members of any of one team fall, the challenge will fail. Uh, okay, so no one can die. That's a big thing. So you basically you have this like momentum, essentially, is what it kind of seems like. Um, and if you stay on your character too long, your momentum dies, so you want to switch back and forth. Although, does that mean that the enemies stay health? So if I switch back and I leave, will the enemy have the same amount of health that when I left, or will they get health back? When you switch teams and defeat opponents, you will uh, accumulate fervor. Uh, when the fervor builds up, okay, so the, yeah, more the more fervor or whatever momentum you'll gain buffs. Cool. Let me see how this even works. So I, I get the idea. It's like a relay race. Um, but also, they're gonna let us test new characters, so you probably should have at the very least have an okay, an okay person. Anyways, uh, so extreme challenge rewards. Oh, okay. So yeah, you, uh, you just need to complete it at a base in order to get the littlest bit possible. But if you want all the points, uh, you're going to have to do a 2000. Let's see how hard expert is. Might be bitten, biting off a little more than I can chew, but let's see. All right. So yeah, these are the trial characters. Um, and then we can configure skills, which are all of the cool, fun things that we can give to sp specific people. I think it's the same thing as I'm not sure if it's given to my whole team or just one of the characters in the first slot. And then the second slot, we shall see, but here's a great excuse to see, um, how Yenfei is. Cause I actually really wanted to mess around with Yenfei just generally. Can I see what the, what, like what the Xiao is? No, I can't see like how they're doing. Oh, I can. There we go. Okay, perfect. Um, what, what are your attributes? They don't tell me, but that's just unhelpful. <laughs> Anyways, for our first team, we are easily going you and, um, <sighs> fuck it, let's go Chi Chi. <laughs> you and Chi Chi, got the god combo. Like, you know, next team, we're going to go face, we're going to go with Yodia and the Mind Show, maybe. Next team, uh, we're going to go with Hashanah. <laughs> okay, let's go with. Holy shit, 50% bonus to attack speed? And the active character's normal attack restores 10% of HP to themselves. Okay, so we don't want to put that on uh, Hu Tao. No, no, no. Honestly, just because I want to see what 50% bonus attack looks like, let's go ahead and put that one on um, this. Boom. <laughs> let's see how Yoi Mia. <laughs> That's going to be sick, I think. Anyway. Ooh, all, all party members have charge attack stamina decreased. Uh, have their charge attack damage increased by 75%. Always oh, easy. Sign, sealed, and delivered. Oh, I maybe want. Well, no, I want a real depiction of a good Yoi uh, Yenfei. And hopefully that's what they have built there. So let's do that. Boom. So Hu Tao is going to be crushing it, which I don't know if I'm putting enough eggs in the baskets of people who need help. <laughs> so, mm. ooh, Garrett greatly increases character's jump ability and increases all party members' plunge damage by 100%. Easy peasy going to Shao. Easily, easily going to Shao. This. All party members gain 30% at cooldown with their elemental burst um, is increased to 150. Whoo! Oh, I can't not give that to her. You can't do that to me. <laughs> God damn you. This team is going to be stupid. <laughs> uh, all of our members' cooldown is decreased and their elemental burst damage increased by a lot. Hopefully, she scales up with that a lot. That'll be fun. Ooh, characters released, uh, protected by shields, will release shockwaves. Easy peasy. 
For 20, for 25 seconds after the party member elite takes the field, lightning will strike five, up to five opponents. Fervor rate is increased. Sure. Let's go with that one uh, for, for you. Give you one thing. So party's damage is greatly increased with uh, the higher accumulation of fervor, which is cool. Ooh. Uh, 25 seconds after the party member takes the field, all party members gain 100 and 100% uh, pyro damage. That was a little bit better than that one. Uh, but let's be fair. Let's not stack the deck too much. Let's go with this. Because, yeah, she cares more about fire damage rather than the elemental reactions because you're only getting overload. Um, yeah, same thing with this one. Cryo damage. Oh, I wonder what we're going to do with that. <sighs> same thing with electro damage. Geo... Okay, so yeah, these just buff the shit out of the elemental reactions. Oh, hey, we can do that. I don't even know. Yeah, for 25 seconds after the party takes the field. So you got to stay there for 25 seconds. Um, and then you get a shit ton of bonus. Uh, but I assume that's... You're just like a finite window. <laughs> oh, my God. 100% attack or critical damage? Shit. I don't know who should have that. Christ. Uh, let's just go. We spent more than enough time here, but that's clearly like a winner right there. Just getting us. But you also got to stay on the field for a long period of time, which sounds shitty. Anyways, let's do this. Boom. Start. I can't wait. Can I at least check out what I'm rocking with my character? Well, the first, our first thing ain't going to be too bad. Physical damage to all party members. All damage dealt by all party members is increased. Ooh, we got great timing, baby. Look at Ray's loving it. Loving it. Super conduct. All of it. You're about to see some shit happen. Unless it's super a lot of health. <laughs> we'll see. What are these? And all this. Why make why I jump? <laughs> I didn't mean to jump there. What the hell? Whoosh. Our boy Razor doing 30k like it's nothing. Doing some of this. Fuck it, we'll do this. How do I switch? Uh, this. Holy shit, that happens fast. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't really time it properly. Let's do this. Let's do this. The thing with her, though, is that her her elemental... Bur I mean, Yoey Me is really putting down the smack. <laughs> Smacking down people. Oh, we need to switch. You're open. I'm trying. Oh, square. It's square. God damn. We didn't get to spend any time here. That's why I should have used her alt first. And I also didn't activate Jin Show. I'm breaking into the pressure, boys. This. 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 Give me my thing back, you bastard. There it is. Run. Switch. Some of this. Oh, we just got so many particles, like too much. No, I didn't want to do that. God damn it. God damn it. This is all go. What the hell happened? Cast? I'm getting stagger locked. This is bullshit. She really needs a thing. So, are we trying to accumulate fervor or are we losing? I think we're losing fervor. I think that's what's happened. Anyways, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this, because we're gods. <laughs> we're just a freakish god. Boom! 31k, baby! Oh, you, I got hit on it? What happened? Oh, there's only one more. It's okay, we'll do this. 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 Heal up a little bit, and then this. Here we go. I think we just cycle. Oh, yeah, I think, I think we can just choose whenever we need to cycle. Shit, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Fall apart. <laughs> it's kind of hard to pivot between so many characters. Especially, like, trying to go for what you what you built them for and all that stuff. I see, oh, oh, I see. We just have the amount of time to deal a lot of damage. I gotcha. Also, man, yeah, you do so much damage. All right, back to this. So the more you switch and the more you're like pivoting back and forth, the better you go. Oh, I think I see the... Okay, so there's an up arrow. So as soon as that goes away, I think that's when you have to switch. So when your bonuses leave you. Okay, so I'm starting to get it now. It still seems really easy to pop off. Uh, let's do this. I just want to use the right in Shogun. Also, I should have used this ability first. Do this. Here we go! Yes, 17k, boys. This is not normal life. Okay, this is uh, getting a stupid surge in your elemental damage. So don't be fooled. <laughs> this is not our reality. Although it is a cool spectacle, I'll admit. Okay, now, now, okay. So the arrow above us is telling us to like what what we should do. 
or we should quickly uh, reposition and recalibrate. Uh, yep. Do some of this to get some health back. Boom. Switch off. Uh, do this. And we'll do this. I was able to get off. Eat shit. Oh my god. Yep, she's dead. That's gonna ri yeah. Yeah, I think when you fail, when you when someone dies, you basically lose all your all your bits. But I think I got max. I I, I unfortunately was hitting attack, which is the same button that, to use to back out, so you know, <laughs> game sucks in that regard. <laughs> Bad uh, controller optimization, but it is what it is. But I think we did win, basically. Challenge rewards, yeah, we got all of them. I just wanna mess around with the thing. That was amazingly fun. But also, I think you don't need <laughs> nearly all that shit. <laughs> Uh, if we just go to ch uh, start again, uh, and I were to take away like 80% of these, reset... Oh, I don't want to reset all the teams. <laughs> Can we please not do that? Can I just do this? Also, yeah, Xiao is so good, guys. Like, again, Xiao is just big boy damage all the time. <laughs> so, but I just want to see. If we just use what we used here, I think we'll be more than okay. Um, but let's see, start the team. No, you need to put it in every slot. That's a little annoying. <laughs> That's a little sad. Okay, good. It didn't, it didn't save my progress. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you do need to have at least one character in every slot, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, but it also makes sense. But like, it did seem like you can just like switch, switch, switch. Like you don't need to spend too long on on certain characters. But I do want to actually see what the characters were built as. Um, and I also wanted just to play a lot of Ganyu. <laughs> just because I haven't played her and I'm hoping to get her. Um, but again, that, that's a good example as well as how, how good Xiao is. Like, again, we used him for half a second and just cleaned up house. But he's also is switch situational, whereas other characters arguably aren't, which is why they're so overpowered or strong. <laughs> Anyways, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's fight it. Say fuck it. Let's do this. This. I wonder if they... Tr so if we switch... I don't know. Regardless, let's do one of these. I need to always uh, use the Raiden Shogun's ability like this, then this, and... I don't think they gave you the Raiden Shogun here. Come on. <laughs> Get to them, please. Also, again, this is not the damage you will be dealing, my friends. <laughs> Do not be mistaken. This. Also, yeah, the Raiden Shogun's little, like dimensional slash is just so sick. Also, it does so much AoE stagger that it's just like kind of wild <laughs> how good that is. Oh, uh, yeah, so we need we needed to switch there. We stopped dealing damage altogether. It's a little unfortunate that you can't have fun. You know, you gotta, you gotta kind of sit there and, and really get after it. So it does look like every single time we kill, we start building up, uh, like they said, fervor uh, and all that stuff. Now let's go with this. And then we'll do this. Don't get kicked in the fucking face. <laughs> God damn it. Let's do this. This. Hurry up and die. Anyways, we'll do some switchy switch. Switch. We'll do this. 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 Quickly one of these. Stay in the goddamn zone. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. God damn it, she, everything's dying to her ult. Because <laughs> her ult is just madness. We were talking about this charge attack being crazy. This, this uh, ult to me is just wild. And this could, like, I don't know any character who would not benefit, like, mad from this. And again, just to reiterate how good Shao and whatnot is. Do this. And dead. Ooh, look at that big Shogun person. Just getting absolutely swirled. But also, I don't know if we gave you a particular... Oh, no. We gave you a lot more plunge damage. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, right. We'll do this. Switch really quick. Back to you. Back to our boys. Bop. Well, it does look like we lost a shit ton of time by uh, by dying, so you got to be careful with that. Also, you may want to uh, may want to leverage. Okay, but say why can't I switch my characters? What is happening? All that. Also, I done goofed. I done goofed. I didn't switch to the proper characters. <laughs> Damn it! We'll do this. Hurry up and get my ability back. There we go. Okay, so now everything's working out. I'm not doing sequencing properly, but as you guys can see, everything is getting... Honestly, just the ability to throw enemies around is, like, wildly valuable. Um, and that's why Ball is kind of wild. <laughs> like, just with Yoi Mia or with anybody, the fact that her Electro does such, like, a massive impact, like, throws people off center, is wildly good. Oof! Big oof! Don't knock me... Don't knock my teeth out. Yet. <laughs> Yet. 
God damn it, this. Here we go. Boom, dead. Don't even look at you. I'm about to say, are you still alive? <laughs> what has happened? They just said, man, we just did so much AoE at it. Jesus Christ. What is this? Also, it's just so good for Venti and every other of my characters. So, it's, yeah, even if she didn't pop off, she just fit too perfectly in my team. Also, guess what? We have her ult again. Because what is, what is she? It's insane. <laughs> Does it make any sense? She's nuts. Anywho. Also, I'm not doing the perfect iframe ability because, you know, I'm the worst. She does get knocked out of uh, out of the bounds, which is pretty annoying. But easily got the, the thing again. Disgust me. <laughs> okay, but no, this is fun. Um, the, and I think they'll ratchet up the difficulty. Like, I could see us fighting, like, d like those uh, stupid, annoying dragon, geo dragon things. Um, but if you happen to have a lot of those characters, it's a blast. Also, the Raiden Shogun is insane in this. Be careful for seeing the Raiden Shogun in gameplay of this in the future, because she has 100% more alt damage, and you can just buff up her electricity to be even wilder. Um, in fact, what did I... I yeah, I gave her attack speed. Um, yes, all parties cool down, and elemental burst is increased by 150. <laughs> so if you see 14k... That's not entirely entirely realistic, although it's possible if you just have the best, best stats possible, but yeah, <laughs> it's gear down. It's not, it's not tangible, all right? Possible, not tangible. We'll do one of these, and then we'll do this. Here we go. Electro damage. We just did 59k. And now we're doing 7k. I thought we seen 14k at some point. Maybe that was we had a better buff on <laughs> that gave us like even more base damage, maybe or something. Craziness. Let's do one of these. Quickly. And we'll switch off because we're losing momentum. And then we'll just use a bunch of other characters. We'll try to cycle back as soon as possible. Do this, this, this. Oh, this is fun though, because you just get to have a good feel for it. Although they it is annoying that you don't get to like actually like work through them. You kind of are on a weird delay. <laughs> so that's a little unfortunate. Hey man, she just feels so good to play Yen a Yenfei. <laughs> just feels like a blast. Boom! Alright, back to this. Some of this. Some of this. Some of this. And 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 this. Boom. The deked. <laughs> and pop. And uh, pop. And I missed it. I don't think I did a charge attack. I'm not perfect with that uh, that cycling. Anyways, we'll do the oh, I thought there was an enemy still alive there. Just goes to show you how absolutely fun and just nutty <laughs> our girl is this. Quickly! AoE. AoE hit. AoE hit. AoE hit. And AoE hit. And this. Back to our classic team. This. This. And now we got bigger poopers. <laughs> okay? Ooh, you hit me? Let's do one of these. This. Super conduct. Just cuz. Alright, now, let's do this. Let's do this. Not what I want to see, actually. Although it is it is not bad damage. Now, let's do this. Here we go. And charge. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, do you need to use charge attacks to break that? I guess. I didn't know that. <laughs> very cool. You can hit me all you want. You won't stop the pain. And it's actually getting very close to stopping the pain. <laughs> Shockingly enough, that did not do as much damage as I was hoping for. Also, she's about to die. Anyways, this, die. Still not dead. Yikes. <laughs> also, we're spending too much time on this character. Charge attack. She died. It's fine. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at it. Don't look at it. It's fine. But no, this is an amazing event. So I would love to see more of this. Uh, yeah, it's it's just, it's like very responsive and it's it's fun because you get to play with characters you never really got to play with, even though some of them may not be as built as you'd like, you know? Also, look at all this I didn't see before. Even more sigils now. And I still haven't gotten hunted for the chest. Anywho, uh, yes, very happy with the Raiden Shogun, by the way. Um, I do, uh, yeah, it is interesting because no one really knows to the, like, deepest extent of what she'll be because her talents are all level 6, so we don't know what happens when you bring her talents up pretty high. It does seemingly uh, look like they do go from a pretty sizable jump, you know? It's not just like, like Yenfei, which, or Yoimiya, sorry, which was like a 2% a two, two jump increase. It's like, no, no, it's something there. Um, especially with her her coordinated attack, you know, being being so consistent, also at improving the elemental burst damage of all your characters. So again, can be pretty decent. Uh, same thing with this. This one has a pretty de decent jumping of improvement. In fact, it goes 50% almost or 40% jump of damage. Pretty goddamn good. So yeah, people don't know the extent in which when you finally do have this to like level nine or eight, 
uh, how bad uh, this, you know, how hard this hit, sorry. Uh, but again, I have pretty, pretty, at least for me, for my standard, uh, pretty good scaling. I would like a little bit more crit damage, um, but I don't want to lose all my crit rates, but I also don't want to lose my energy recharge, which makes her kind of a challenge to build, at least for me. But I digress. Also, a lot of people are using Kazuha, which... Which to me, I'm just like, man, don't don't use Kazuha. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Kazuha gives her like 40% bonus damage. Shut up. <laughs> okay? Stop it. <laughs> Although I do feel like she she is made by characters like Shinsho. And if you have them, uh, this person, who is also equally fantastic, and I might level up eventually. Um, yeah, because she just, especially with the new set, is a monster. <laughs> okay? It is an absolute freakish monster especially with the new artifacts app but ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your time hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day this was the brand new events as always we will continue to cover everything and anything genshin wise on the channel so hopefully you subscribe and tune in if you care to do so i would love you forever um but all things considered very much enjoyed the event i didn't think i would i thought it was just gonna be like oh here, here we go i like the a different like perception of like a relay race um, although we'll see how much I like it when we get to the endest, the farthest tier of it. Um, but again, I feel like people really want something to progress in. Again, we spent maybe realistically four minutes doing this and it's done and it's over. <laughs> and you're kind of just like, oh, and we can't even do this multiplayer. All right, well, <laughs> so there's nothing to even just goof around with your buddies and do to test out your build and stuff like that. Again, nothing, nothing yet has been the antidote to the problem with Engenjin, which a lot of people are feeling, which is the, I want more to do that can be done constantly and doesn't just have a finite window where i know when i've done it it's gonna be gone forever but alas it's just my thoughts thank you so much for your time hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day subscribe button to my right for two videos further that way thank you again and goodbye